does your parents have your passwords? No, they don't. Is that by choice or by design or they just don't know you have these? Uh, they know I have them, they just don't care. How old should a child be before they start exploring social media? There's a lot of influential and a lot of explicit things on social media, so they should probably start at around 13 or 14. With the parents' blessings or without? Well, the thing is, most of them don't have their parents' blessings, so it all depends on the person, kind of. Yeah. My name is Carrie, and I'm happy to be the director. Steph's Radio. Pushback Radio. And we're back. Pushback yes, Radio. we are. So. What about the report, guys? So uh, good, yeah. Yeah, it you looks know, good. So I agree with the report. I agree with the report because nobody should be exploring the internet radio. at too young because you never know what they could come across. Like somebody is like, you know, I actually, over eighty yeah. percent of what's out there is porn. Let's just be keep it real, real honest. Yep. All right, we got a caller alert coming up. Caller, you on the line with the official pushback show. What's your name? Caller, you on the line with the official pushback show. What's your name? Hey, Kayla. Question, comment, or shout out. Uh, I just wanted to make a comment about the subject. Um, you know, I come from the the first generation of social media. So, you know, I'm in my early 20s, and I remember it started off with Bebo, and then it was MySpace and all these other different things. And they really appeal to children. But it needs to be monitored way better than what it is. Even YouTube is, like, just outrageous. Like, all this stuff needs to be monitor way better than what it is True. i agree we'll i agree that uh you know like the previous caller was saying about the live video and stuff like that even with they're trying to keep up with each other so snapchat had the videos first now instagram has live video like they're all just pretty much the same app at this point yeah. and you know i just kind of distanced myself radio. away from it for a while because it just wasn't everything on there isn't really informational Women's anymore radio. it used to be but now it's kind of negative we share all these things that we don't realize is cyberbullying, like fight yeah. videos and just you know pictures of people you know walking down the street just just random stuff you know and we don't realize like that's very negative and that's somebody's friend or mom or anybody I- all right. So, you know, All right. Thank you for calling in. I'm I'm sorry we have to cut it short, but thank you. And can I get you, lastly, can I get you to say that you're happy to be thug and drug free and say your name? I'm happy to be thug and drug free and this is Kayla. All right. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for calling, Kayla. All right. Mm-hmm. So, you want to talk about the trip, Ricky? Sure. It's okay. Okay. So, earlier in the summer, we were talking about, uh, we were ha- on a trip to Kalahari and to your point. Yeah, we were, and I actually have Snapchat and Instagram, and I I am not going to lie. I have been using those, and during the trip that me and Daniel went on, I've been using them, and I think I'd be on it, like, a lot um, during the day, and I think I need to cut down on it, and we need to inform people that social media is, you know, changing. Yeah, not just social media. If you use your cell phone or anything on it too much, it'll detach you from your family and friends and make things a whole lot worse. Yeah. uh, Speaking of social media, I'm going to ask this again. By guessing, how many hours do you think the average teen spends on social media? Okay. So I'm going to stick with my guess. 12 hours. All right. And my guess, I'm going to stick with it to 10 hours, not that long. Hey, Nigel, you, you know, I haven't really put stuff up, so what's your guess? I think maybe about, if you really think about it, maybe at least 24 hours, depending on how oh, wow. you use it. So, wow. based on yep. what I said, like, a few minutes ago, uh, do you guys think that social media, okay, do you guys think that social media could lead to isolation? And, uh, Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, I think it's that. about I think it's about a good twenty hours because people is like Instagram savvy nowadays. It's a good twenty hours. You know, going yeah. off yeah. hours. Wait, wait. Yeah. Going off with Kev Kev's answer and Nigel's answer. Do you guys think that social media is a new form of escapism, like video games and drugs? Yes. Why? Why not? Uh, because you know it just takes you away from life. Like, well. Uh, it takes you away from your life that surrounds you. You can talk to other people, mm-hmm. and you can, like, who are far away from you. you so, Daniel, decide. do you feel like you're running? Uh-huh. <laughs> do you feel like you're running away from someone or somebody? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I think social media is turning into one of those big things, like drugs and stuff. I mean, it isn't bad, but at the same time, it pretty much is. And... 
almost every day kids use social media like they wake up every day tomorrow the day after that they're on social media every day it's like their life but you said turning into i feel like it already is well oh wait okay Okay, let's say your friend posted a Snapchat of them smoking weed. Are you influenced to do it now that your friend does it publicly? No. Me, no. 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 Like I said before, Scrapper makes impacts. <laughs> All, right, All right. So, um, about what I said earlier, I kind of am running away, but it's not with, like social media. It's like video games. So. Oh, wait, yeah. Daniel. Um, speaking of video games, like this is like everywhere. What's your definition of trolling? And have you done it yourself? I haven't done I haven't done it myself, but uh, my definition of trolling is just like getting on people's nerves, making them angry, making them like ugh, making them so mad. I was trolled just... recently. Really? With what? What you got for us, Nigel? Um, quick question to the listeners: Does your favorite site take up most of your time? Do you even realize it at times? Most of your time. That's a good question. Yes. Yeah, that is a good question. You yes, know, it does. Yeah, you know, pretty much. On. Dang, what's your favorite site? Um, well, I usually only play games, but I will play games for like a few hours a day. Like online free games? No, not online. Oh, video. Okay, video games. We're talking about social media, though. What but about you, Sabrina? I will play online with, uh, yeah. You play against other people. Naruto online. Yeah. Okay, that's the same thing. Yeah. What, what game would you play? Uh, I just said Naruto online. I play no, that. Naruto. Online. I play that for really? like a few hours really? a day. That's a yeah. shoot 'em up that's a shoot 'em up game? No. 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 What is it? It's basically it, like an RPG. RPG. Yeah. What is that? Role playing game. Yeah. <laughs> Role playing game. What about you, Sabrina? What's your favorite uh, social media tool? Um, I have to say Snapchat. I mean Snapchat brings you together like with your friends, you get to chat with your friends, you get to post stuff on your story, but again social media has their bad side Snapchat can be considered a dangerous site for kids that are too young and that are using it, but my favorite uh, social media site or app is Snapchat Hands What about down. you Nigel? Um, definitely Instagram because back when... The know, gram! <laughs> you know, like back when my, like sometimes I would forget to pay my phone bill so, like, it would still keep, let me be able to keep in touch with my friends and, you know, still talk to them. So, right. on the, oh. Uh, hey, uh, Nigel, I want to ask you, how long do you normally spend on Instagram? You want it a lot. Maybe about five to ten minutes a day. Five to ten minutes. A, a day. day? A day. Uh, okay. So, you don't spend a lot of time on it. So, wow. on the topic of getting away from life with social media, um... You know what, Daniel? Dude, I'm there's, the, like, uh, guys, there's this guys, word popular guys. in Australia called FOMO. It stands for the fear of missing out. It happens when you feel out of place watching other people have fun, like they're missing out on life. So do you guys ever get FOMO or anything with looking through social media? Uh, no. no, but guys, it's time to give a report. All right. Steps Radio. Kev. Okay, Kev. Today's topic is social media media. What does this topic mean to you? It means people are going insane for social media. All right. Do you think a time limit should be set time on social media? No. All right. Do you think that social media has any negative effects? If you do, um, what are they? You have a problem with somebody. You go on social media and talk about them. That's a negative effect. Do you think social media can take you away from your family and friends? Sometimes. My name is Kev. I'm happy to be thug and drug free. Push Facebook. Back radio. Steps radio. Push back radio. And we're back, America. Yes, we are. And and we're back, Kev Kev. You know, I'm not going to lie. That sounded pretty good. Round of applause. Yeah. All right. You know what? You know what? Before the report, going back on what Sabrina said about um, smoking weed, do you think that the step, can the STEPS program change your mind about smoking cigarettes or doing drugs? We know we can... We know we talk a lot about prevention, but we also tried our best for rehabilitation and see ADD's intensive outpatient treatment for those trying to kick a substance abuse problem and see ADD for people who need it. Call today, 313-342-3606, because recovery does happen. All right. Yeah. And also, many people brush off cyberbullying as fake or not serious, but it can cause a lot of damage to kids' self-image, guys. And this is a bully-free zone. So if someone you know are victims of cyberbullying, head over to the cyberbullying.org to get help. All right. 
the main reason social media is getting so big is because new technology and stuff. Can you see the major changes in Michigan and Detroit that will happen if technology would take over our lives and stuff? Um, I think we will see it, and I think we're seeing it a little bit now. I mean, the new devices are coming, and they are making social media get big, and new stuff, new devices, leads to new social media and good and bad things. That's a good point, so Brenda. <laughs> I want to give a shout-out to Babes World. Uh, they're, they're having their 40th anniversary celebration August 20th through the 26th of this year. It's a whirlwind of activity uh, being planned and celebrated uh, for Babes World's 40th anniversary. It's going to be uh, held at 2400 East Grand Book. I'm sorry, 2400 East McNichols. Uh, for more information, call 313-833-3962. That's 313-833-3962. Again, that's the 40th anniversary of Babes World, beginning awareness Basic education studies. Hey, Kev, Kev, that's your site, isn't it? Like, isn't that your site? That's where you work. Yeah. <laughs> How is it? How is it? Is it easy? What? Is it easy? What? Is it easy? You could say something like that. It's easy if you have an imagination. You're sure um someone who has no imagination. Cough, cough, Nigel. It's hard. <laughs> Wow, wow, you're throwing some shade on the new guy. We're not throwing shade. We're not throwing you know shade. You, you know guys let's let Nigel job. talk. Let's let Nigel talk. Yeah. He hasn't said too much. What you got, Nigel? Um, question. Out of Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, what is the most popular site? Facebook, uh, hands down. Facebook. Facebook is old, guys. Come on. It's old, but uh, it's... The oldest are uh, usually okay, the most okay. popular. Uh, it lasted this long. It's not going to go anytime soon. All right, so if you think Facebook is old, Sabrina... What yeah. what do you think is the most popular out of those? Uh, yeah, I mean Facebook is also not Facebook. Um, Instagram, <laughs> uh, it's between Instagram and Snapchat. I mean, come wait, on. Snapchat hands down. Snapchat, Snapchat yeah. amongst yeah. the young people is very yeah. popular. Yeah. yeah, it is. Now, have we ever thought how social media came to be so big? I, isn't Facebook the first social media? Mark site? Zuckerberg. Yeah, Mark and Zuckerberg. his crew. Oh, I got some. I make. A, I want to make a quick announcement, folks. Wellness Beyond the Walls, Detroit Wayne Mental Health Authority is having their faith-based conference um, August seventh. That's this Friday, I believe. Oh, it's August seventh at Burton Manor, two seven 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 School Craft Road, Livonia, Michigan. That's August seventh. Uh, definitely. Check out Detroit Wayne Mental Health Authority uh, website on Facebook, their site on Facebook for more information. Or visit DC, excuse me, DWCtraining.com. That's DWCtraining.com. All right. Well, you said it's at the, the what manner? Uh, profession manor? Burden Manor. All right. It's a burden Manor. So, you know, be honest, you guys, have you ever, like, uh, as a little kid, dreamt of living in a big, famous house, like um, buying the White House or living no. in Playboy Mansion of or something. No, I haven't. Because, you know, it wouldn't even be hard to get around. Like, it's just so big of a house. Like, I mean, the White House is a pretty big house. I mean. But if it's if it's your house, you would know every quarter. But it's, yeah. it's like going to be like, I'm going to have to walk like so, well, not that far. It's not going to be that far, but it's going to be farther than north. All right, so we all know what kind of home Daniel wants now. Like a like a, a cozy, like smallish kind of home, right? Yeah. All right. I, I can feel that. Smallish. I can feel that. I can feel that. Like a medium size. Yeah. All right. Yep. So, yeah, let's also. go back on the topic social media, guys. Come on. Good idea. Now... Uh, Snapchat. What's the difference between Snapchat and Instagram? I mean, people wow. argue and stuff and say Snapchat is better, or they say Instagram is better. I mean, come on. Well, Snapchat, you get to, like I said, snap and chat with your friends. Instagram is more like a posting thing, commenting, commenting well, thing. Wait, question. Snapchat is better because, you know, you get to do all those editing and photos and the face recognition and stuff. And also, you get to comment on photos. It's, and Instagram, all you do is, like, post Photos that you already hey, took hey guys, guys, we got a caller. We got Marlon on the line. Marlon, you're back. What's up, Marlon? 
Uh, uh, sorry if my phone's off, because y'all know I'm at the um, police station with Officer Gomez. You're in Chicago? 